we want a livable climate for our future generations, we need to slow down, stop, and reverse the rise of the global temperatures. To do so, we need to generate lots of carbon-free electricity. And we as individuals are starting to battle it by producing energy locally in our neighborhoods by using the renewable energy sources like wind and solar. The digital modern world also demands a more reliable grid, capable of supplying energy to hospitals, data centers, and even our homes, where even brief interruptions in supply can cost money or lives. Therefore, we need a greener and more reliable electricity grid. And there is a technology that promises to be a solution, and that is a microgrid. So what is a microgrid? Microgrid is a small, controllable, and local energy grid for example, a grid in one neighborhood with enough energy sources to meet the local demands. In the case of the power blackout, this grid can continue to work by using these local sources in the so-called islanded mode of operation, independently from the main grid. However, during the islanded mode of operation, there are still unsolved technical challenges or solutions that are just not feasible to implement on that small scale. One of the main challenges is the protection from faults, since they may cause both electrical shock to humans and the malfunction of the microgrid. And this is the topic of my thesis. Protection of microgrids that can work in both grid-connected and islanded mode is challenging primarily due to unpredictable and dynamic behavior of the microgrid. However, by looking to the voltage and current waveforms, the valuable information about the system behavior could be extracted from them. Therefore, by using different pre-processing techniques where discrete wavelet transform proved to be a promising one, I created a so-called signature signals that describe different events in the system. Since these signals are hard to read to us humans, I used artificial intelligence to interpret them and provide different protection features. This means that this algorithm can successfully detect the fault type and the fault location in the microgrid. In this way, the faulty part of the grid can be successfully isolated while the rest of the grid continues to operate. By achieving this, we will be one step closer to the microgrids in our neighborhoods as well. Moreover, what really tickles the imagination is a power grid that is someday composed entirely of networked microgrids. This kind of architecture with multiple microgrids operating in parallel is more secure and efficient than a centralized system with few large points of failure, and it makes the grid greener and more reliable.